Have you ever felt your heart sink in a split second? Well, that's exactly what happened to me at our anniversary dinner. The evening was supposed to be ours, a celebration of our love, free from the distractions of the world. But there it was, an unwelcome guest at our table, a buzzing phone breaking the spell. A message, innocently lighting up the screen, from someone named Jim Buddy. A wave of cold dread washed over me. In that moment, I was faced with a choice. Confront this uninvited intrusion or let it gnaw at me throughout our special night. I chose the former, sliding the phone across the table with a single frosty question. Who's Jim Buddy? The response was a stumble, a stutter about just a friend. But the hesitation, oh that hesitation, it screamed louder than any spoken words. We left that restaurant, not hand in hand as lovers, lovers, but under a cloud of whispered accusations and half-hearted denials. Turns out, Jim Buddy was more than a buddy and less about the gym. Back home, the truth unraveled like a poorly kept secret. Jim Buddy wasn't just a buddy, and the gym was the least of their shared interests. The betrayal was a slow burn, each revelation adding fuel to the fire. This illicit relationship, it had been going on for months, hidden behind a smokescreen of late nights at work and weekend trips with friends. The lies were as plentiful as they were painful, each one a sharp jab at the trust we had built. I thought we were solid, unshakable even, but the ground beneath me was shifting, revealing a chasm of deception. The hurt was raw, visceral, as I discovered their intent to leave. They hadn't been happy, they said, and I was left grappling with the sudden displacement of my reality. It felt like my entire world was flipping upside down, but then they dropped another bombshell. They wanted to stay and try to work things out. Suddenly, I was caught between heartbreak and the faint, almost foolish hope of reconciliation. There I was, wrestling with my emotions in the stillness of the night. The pain of betrayal was like a dagger in my heart, yet a small voice inside me whispered, could this be our second chance? The love we had shared, was it all just a mirage, or was there something real beneath the surface? This question gnawed at my soul, a relentless echo in the silent corners of my mind. I found myself at a crossroads, a pivotal moment that would define not just the fate of our relationship, but my own identity. The decision was immense, daunting, yet unavoidable. I had to choose. Would I let the pain of betrayal consume me, or would I dare to hope for healing, for a love reborn from the ashes of deceit? The decision loomed large, a crossroads not just for our relationship, but for who I wanted to be moving forward. Was I really just in love with the idea of us, or was there something real worth fighting for?